Hi, it's Terry Robinson with Remax Distinctive. Have you been like me looking online at the news or, or listening to it and seeing these top subjects of inventory, meaning housing inventory, inflation and interest rates, and just wondering how is this all going to affect us? Well, come on back and we're going to talk about all three of those. Some of the questions that I've been getting recently from clients, friends, and family are the top three questions I've been getting are one, how is the market? Should I at this time be uh, buying a property, a house uh, at the, with the higher prices? And then finally, the third question is, have houses become unaffordable at this time? In order to answer those three questions, one of the, the, th the three things we have to look at, and which I call the three I's, are housing inventory, the actual inflation, and then finally, interest rates. This, this talk right now is going to be a little heavy regarding on uh, numbers, but please give me permission and just bear with me because you'll see that the numbers that we're going to go through are important to understanding what's going on in our market and then to help you to make decisions about what your next move would be. So let's get started. So in terms of inventory, inventory for houses is down. Nationally, it's down about 27%. And what that means is that we have 27% fewer houses coming on the market than we had a year ago. Here in uh, the Northern Virginia area, we're down about a little over 14%. So we have 14% less houses coming on the market. So when asked the question, how's the market? The market actually is what we call an aggressive one. Aggressive because we have a, a high demand of a lot of buyers wanting properties and we don't have a lot of inventory coming on right now currently. There is some good news. The good news is that we do have sellers who typically would have sold roughly in about six years, have held on because of circumstances, because of COVID, and they've waited. So we have a lot of pent up sellers who are ready to get out there to put their houses on the market. So we do see some supply coming. The second question that people are asking me is, Terry, what's going on about pricing of homes? You know, should I buy now for, you know, what, what buy, you know, homes because prices are going up? Uh, should I wait until they come down? Well, first of all, I don't have a crystal ball, so I won't be able to tell you if or when housing prices are coming down. But what I can share with you is what's going on, and that brings me to our second eye, which is inflation and why inflation is affecting our pricing of our homes. So, but we gotta take a look back in order to understand that. To take a look back means that since the 1970s, when inflation has gone up, so has the value of properties across the nation, with the exception of the early 2000s, and we know what happened then. But for the most part, when inflation rises, so prices go up, so do housing prices. So keep that in mind as you're trying to decide whether or not it's time now for you to purchase a home. And for sellers, know that you are getting more appreciation on your properties during this inflationary time. The third question that people are asking is, are, is it unaffordable now for me to, to purchase a home? So, you know, can I do it now? That brings us to the third I which is interest rates. And it also brings us to the third question is, are houses unaffordable at this time? In order to answer that question, I think we need to just change it though first, is that it's not a question of whether or not houses are unaffordable or are they now less affordable? And in talking about interest rates, when interest rates rise, what ends up happening is that the amount of home that you can actually afford becomes a little less. So in today's market, as interest rates will rise, then houses become less affordable or the amount of house that you can purchase. In order to see where interest rates are going, remember I said again that I was going to do numbers, well here comes a number chart again. Um, one of the places you could actually look to see whether or not where interest rates are going, believe it or not, is this thing called the 10-year treasury. Over time, over the last 50 years, 
interest rates have followed the 10-year treasury and if you can see it this chart you can see that so if you ever want to know hey where are interest rates going listen out about the 10-year treasury and you'll have a good idea I know this was a heavy video about inventory inflation and interest rates but I believe it was necessary so take care and talk with you soon